Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today I'll be demonstrating another ripple wreck. I'm still having so much fun with this technique and I have so many different ideas of ways to use it. Um, the piece that I'm uh, demonstrating today is not quite dry. I'm gonna hold it up uh, so you can see it. It is drying quite well. This is a flip cup uh, that I've used uh, with silicone in it. And uh, I did two ripple wrecks through it. Uh, you'll see that in the video. I hope you can see these uh, cool details. Um, yeah, so if you stay to the very end, you'll see uh, a close-up of the wet results. Uh, and in the description box below this video are the uh, hints and tips I have for both the flip cup and the ripple wreck, and uh, as well as the list of the colors that I've used. So thank you very much for watching and enjoy. Hello everyone. So tonight I'm going to do another ripple wreck using my compass. Um, and I had the idea that one of my favorite things about the uh, about doing a um, a marble wreck is dragging that marble through cells. So I wanted to do kind of a something very bright and colorful with lots of cells, and then use my compass to wreck through the uh, the cells that I get. So um, I'll go through my colors here. Uh, this is um, Amsterdam Azo Yellow Lemon. This is a custom color. This is uh, Amsterdam's yellowish green mixed with a little bit of uh, permanent green deep uh, just to um, darken that up a bit. And this is Amsterdam's brilliant blue. And then I have um, ultramarine uh, violet light with a little bit of um, permanent blue violet to I darken that one up again as well. Uh, this is uh, permanent magenta from Amsterdam, and this one is azo orange from Amsterdam. And then I have uh, a mix of Amsterdam's titanium white with a little bit of pearl white. Also, I find that adding pearl white to a flip cup uh, can sometimes give you uh, beautiful lacing. So I'm going to try that this time. And then I have some table scrapings, kind of a bluish gray color with some um, metallics in it. Uh, this is just scrapings from um, my table from other pores that I've strained to take out any lumps. Because uh, you can see my table is always messy, but uh, so I strained it out. Uh, but that means that I can use this again. And um, the reason I'm going to use uh, a base coat is because I'm going to be using some spot on treadmill silicone. And if the silicone, and I'm gonna mix that in all of my colors except for the white um, and except for the base coat, but anytime silicone touches the canvas first um, and then rises up through the, the, the layers of paint, um, it shows the canvas, it leaves a divot and you see the actual canvas. So um, putting down a base coat will keep that silicone from hitting the canvas first. So there we go. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, put down our base coat. I don't need a lot. I just want this to cover the surface so that the, um, um, the silicone doesn't touch anything, doesn't touch it first.
Okay, let's go ahead and show you my consistency of my paints. So this is the titanium white and pearl white mixture. You can see that it's very thick. It's leaving a mound on a mound when it comes off with a stir stick. I want my paints uh, to be uh, pretty thick here because I want my cells to hold their shape until I wreck them. <laughs> The thinner the paint, the more kind of wobbly the, the cells become. Uh, so having your paints a little thicker will ensure that they hold their shape a little better. So I'm going to start actually with this mixture of white. Put a decent little amount in the bottom of the cup, like that. Um, the white is the densest color, so it will definitely uh, when I flip the cup over, that white will sink down through the other colors. That's the intention. Um, so we're going to start with the white and then we're going to go with the yellow. And we are going to follow the, the colors of the rainbow here. We'll put each of these cups holds about or has about two ounces of paint in them. Uh, so I'm going to do a double layer. The canvas is uh, 16 by 20, which means that I need about 11 and a half, 12 ounces of paint. Uh, so if I put two ounces of each color, that should give me 12 plus the white that I put in between. So I'm hoping to end up with about 14 ounces of paint. And I'm just going to go directly in the order of the color wheel here in the rainbow. Nice. That's the first layer. Okay, what a delicious cup. <laughs> Looks like rainbow sherbet. Okay, I'm gonna flip it here and drag it that way. So to flip the cup, I put one finger underneath, grab it on the sides, tuck my elbow in so that it's touching my rib cage and then count one, two, three, flip. There we go. I like to leave a little bit of space, just a little bit of space at the top of the cup, and that way my colors don't fly all over the place when I do the flip. It also leaves enough air in there for those colors to travel down the cup and, um, and mix a little bit, which is what I want in a flip cup. I want those colors to interact with each other. And so we wait for just a second for that to happen. See how bouncy my canvas is? <laughs> okay, 
This should be interesting. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to let that sit for a minute, and we're not going to torch it yet. If we torch it, it'll bring up more of that silicone to the top, and those cells will get huge. So I want to tilt this out for most of the canvas before I, t before I uh, torch it to get rid of the air bubbles. So we're going to let that sit for a second. Hoping to save some of this orange is kind of on this corner, so we'll do the best that we can. But hopefully some of it, I can see some of it coming up through here, so should be fine. Don't want to lose all the orange. I like the orange. Okay, let's just shift this around a little bit. See what we can do. I'm going to come, since most of the weight of the paint is on in that direction anyway, I am going to come and anchor this side. Hopefully save some of that orange. I say I wanted colorful because I think I've got colorful. Holy crap, look at that. Those colors coming up through. So I'm going to take this down and then off to this corner over here. Some of these cells that come up came up first are getting a little wonky. I don't use silicone enough to be very good at that. Okay, now there's enough paint on here still um, that we can uh, tilt some more off. So I'm going to pop these air bubbles and bring up some more, sil uh, more of the silicone, more cells hopefully. I'm okay if there's a lot of cells in this. In fact, that's kind of the idea. 
I want the cells to kind of take over so that when I wreck it, it's a little more obvious. Okay. I'm gonna let that do its magic. Pop a lot of air bubbles. Lots of cells coming up here and there. Okay. Let's tilt a little more. Let's stretch those cells out. That we just created. Oh, it's not moving. This is setting up quickly on me here. Okay, lots of cells, but not a lot of big ones. Okay, let's go ahead. And do a, a ripple wreck. I don't think I want to go right in the middle. I think I want to come like over here and over here. Mm -hmm. So let's determine our center. The music is still playing Let's dance While the floor is still swaying This moment will never come again Let's dance while the music's playing.
That's cool. I like this one better. Should I do a little one right here? Nope, less is more. I like it. Nope, I can't help myself. <laughs> okay, do I put one here or do I put one here, like a little one? You know, if I put one here, it won't be balanced. I'd have to do one here. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. As tempting as it is, I think it's freaking cool. So here is the overhead view of my rainbow ripple wreck. And uh, I'll take you in for the close up. Even though I didn't get the the big juicy cells I was hoping for. You people who, anybody who uses um, silicone more often than I do, I think it's probably been two years since I've used silicone. Um, uh, maybe you can tell me what I did wrong and why I didn't get the big, big juicy cells. I put one drop of silicone per ounce of paint. So I thought that was plenty. Maybe I stirred it in too much or I don't know, uh, but I didn't get those big, a lot of the big juicy cells. I was hoping for a lot more of that size, those big ones right there. Um, but even though I didn't get that, I did get lots of little cells and the effect is very cool when you wreck it. I love those little lines that it creates. The kind of feathering as it comes through the cells is super cool. And it was interesting using the uh, the base coat. I see the base coat color kind of coming up through uh, the rec lines. So that's an interesting wrinkle to the story. Look at that section right there. Every color of the rainbow. Love it. Now, as usual, that green takes over. <laughs> I don't have a lot of straight yellow. I find that that's the one that disappears the most and then the green takes over but there's some beautiful uh, yellow there with the white so I'm almost kind of like that orange became kind of a peachy orange color here um, but all the blues and the violets through here really nice yeah I really like that um, that effect of wrecking through wrecking through the cells. So uh, this one, I went every, I, I switched directions with every one of them. And on this one, the outer two go in one direction, the inner two go the other. So it's not immediately obvious, which is fine. Uh, anybody looking at the close-up details will might notice that though. I love this orange corner over here and the orange coming up through here. Orange is not normally my favorite color, but I, I think it really adds a lot of uh, life to this painting and brightens things up. That blue and the violet and the magenta make it very dark. And that orange, the green and the yellow really brighten things up. And especially the white too. So glad I used white. But anyway, there we go. There's my ripple wrecked rainbow or whatever name i come up with when, <laughs> when i post this i hope you all enjoyed um give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you'd like to see more and um come back and see me sometime <laughs>